Hey Toby, Darren here from Advantage Cars. Just doing the walk around video on the Nissan Pathfinder for you. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go around the outside, point out anything I think you may want to see, um, and then I'll do the same for the inside. But straight off the bat, you can see it's a really tidy car. It was an ex-fleet vehicle, so it's had one owner, one driver, um, and always maintained by Farmer Nissan. So um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll get started. So. As you can see, hopefully you can see, um, really, really straight, straight body. Cool. So Hancock tires all the way around as well. Uh, really good brand and they have plenty of tread left. So these are the wheels here. There's very, very slight bit of curbing on the wheel, which is barely noticeable, but something I just want to point out to you. Um, so yeah. Hancock is a tyre brand, and they're pretty much up there with Bridgestones. Um, cool. <clears throat> Hopefully the camera's picking that up, so the paint job is in a really good nick. No dents or anything I can see sticking out there. Cool, coming around the back, so you do have a tow bar on this car. And if you do plan on towing anything, these have a really high tow rating, um, being quite a powerful larger SUV. So this has just had a quick wash for the yard, but it does get fully groomed, so it does get cut, polished, um, and then valeted inside and everything. But yeah, it's just had a quick kind of one over so we can uh, put it up for sale on the yard. <coughs> Coming around this side, same thing again, really, really tidy car. And the paint job's in, in good nick. Hopefully the camera's picking that up all right for you. So the same thing on this side, um, tires are matching, good tread, um, Hancock brand and doesn't look like there's any curbing on this wheel either. And same on this one. Slight bit of curbing there. Um, but otherwise in really good nick. <coughs> cool. Bonnet's looking like it's in good condition. I can't see any stone chips or anything. Which is always good. This car came from uh, Tauranga, so it lived in Mount Monganui um, right up until it came to us. Bit of bird shit there, sorry. <laughs> we will obviously give it a, a proper detail, as I said before. But overall, outside, it's a really, really tidy car. Now, just uh, looking inside. So, interior has been well looked after. All the door cards are in good condition, as well as the dash. And the rest of the interior, the seats are also in really good condition as well. Nice leather seats. Cool, jumping into the back. Same thing again. Now those headphones are for the DVD screens in the back of the headrests, I believe. And then you have um, individual control for the back and uh, charging ports, USB-C, USB, and volume control, and rear seat warmers as well, which are pretty rare um, to get in an SUV. Back seat, same thing. Barely look like they've been sat in. Really good condition. Overall, a really tidy car, and I don't think it'd be let down whatsoever with um, this vehicle. So automatic tailgate as well, uh, with you know the electronic lift and close. A 
Looks like a little bit of paint there, which would get off. That's um, that's coming straight off. So doesn't look like it's scratched. It's just a bit of paint or something. But yeah, we'd sort that um, with the groom. So boot looks really tidy. Being an ex-lease car, we don't actually... Well, a lot of the time it doesn't even look like the um, boot and back seats are being used because a lot of the time these cars are used for work use. Same thing again, really tidy door card. A little bit of a mark there, same as the boot, which would come off. Um, as I said, it just hasn't had its full groom yet, but it will undergo that. Yeah, just overall really tidy. It's got the um, two sunroofs as well, which are quite a good addition. Uh, obviously being the TI top of the line model, it has all the, the bells and whistles, um, heated mirrors for, you know, condensation. Um, steering wheel and everything's in really good nick as well. Now, I did try to um, connect my phone, and I couldn't find any settings that allowed me to mirror the phone. Obviously, it does have Bluetooth and everything like that, but I'm not sure if it has the mirroring. Um, I believe you can get it upgraded, so it does have Apple CarPlay, but it doesn't look like this one does. Um, it does have navigation built in, though. Uh, heated seats, as well as cooled seats. And dual climate AC, Bluetooth, push to start. Um, all of those kind of features you do get with the top of the line. It does have two keys as well, so there is a spare. And it does come with all the owner's manual and whatnot as well. So, yeah, overall a really good car. Um, since we're an AA preferred dealership as well, the car will undergo a 38 point AA appraisal. So if you are keen to go ahead, I can book that in and the deal is subject to you being happy with that report. So that's how that works. Um, and if you're not happy with the report when it comes back, you basically get a refund of your deposit or we can just choose to fix whatever comes up. You know, if it's like brake pads or tires or anything like that. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, let me know if you need any more photos or videos and I'm more than happy to do that for you. Um, cool, hopefully we can put something together. Cheers, Toby.